Get it while it's hot. The dude mung is 3,000. What do you want from me? No more, kid. doing this but it has to happen <laughs> all right uh this is not gonna be a long episode but we just have to get the bat ready to go to the track so it's really simple literally all i have to do is raise the bike back up to stock height i have the brocks uh can you see under there i have the brocks window link i probably should have my light somewhere oh, i got it right here bam i have the brocks window link under there so it's gonna be super easy to adjust that back up to stock height then I just got to get this back on stock height. I'm not going to go into super detail about this because I made a video about it, but it's literally uh, two pinch bolts on this side, same two pinch bolts, two pinch bolts on the other side. And then the bottom triple tree here also has two bolts and two bolts and two bolts on each side. So it's literally six bolts to get this up. And then I loosen the two bolts down here and raise it up. So uh, I guess when I come back, the bike will be at stock height and then i'll go over a few of the other things we got to do to get the bike prepped and ready for uh for the track one of the things uh straps literally have to come off um then i pretty much just need to tape over all of the plastics on the bike so it's this this of course another one on the other side and then the tail light um and it literally should be that should be it so look man y'all keep rocking with your boy we're gonna get this done we're gonna get it knocked out and then we go be at the track. So uh, I'm excited. So let me get to it and I will show you guys the finished product and we will talk about a few things. This is my stock link. I'm just gonna match the height of the lowering link to this and I'll be at stock height. Bam, done diddles. Put the bike just enough to get the pressure off the frame. Like I said, I'm not going into too, too much detail because I made a video about lowering it, so it's literally just in reverse. Taking the pressure off the bike, gonna loosen the clamps, loosen the triple tree, raise it up, and we're done. So actually, before I get into that, I'm gonna go ahead and get these straps off, and then I'll get the bike up. people thought I lowered my bike a lot but from the factory on the R model not the regular Jackson model but the R model it's almost an inch lowered from the factory you know a lot of people are like Mungus how much did you lower your bike I actually didn't lower it that much it was seven eighths of an inch from the factory so that's what I'm putting it back to Lock it in, lock the top in, lock the bars in, and then lock, lock down low, and um, that's it for this part. Also, let me show you real quick. Suzuki has this little nipple, which goes in a hole that's underneath, so it's kind of like a fail-proof way to know how to line it up. So you see how that just slid, slid in there? Let me see it again. See, it's off, it's off. You see how it slid in there? That's how you make sure you uh, lined up with your uh, clip-ons done uh total time probably took about 20 minutes uh from start to finish but um not that bad we're done uh let me let it down and let you guys see what it looks like stock height mcgee track prep it ain't the same it is not the same
Hey, do the do that. Say what up, it's your boy Duke Mungus. We are headed on our way. Got the little sun in the background. I wish the sun was in front of us, man. Uh, cause it look. Hold on, turn around. Looks like uh, looks a little sketchy in front of us, man. I really hope I'm able to make it to this track without uh, the back getting wet. See him back there. Yes, sir. It is that time again, which means it's getting close to my birthday. It is time again for a track day. Road Atlanta with track day winners. They always, bro. Always around my birthday, they have a track day at Road Atlanta. So I'm just like, you know what? Yeah, that's my birthday present to myself. This is this, let's dig them, get to the track. And I'm hit, got my seatbelt on, can't say them, see it. Got my big ball of brand. Heck yeah, shout out to Marcus for uh, sending out the swag. I'm gonna be wearing my big ball of brand all weekend. Uh, I'm gonna, I wanna make sure I get it in and represent the Jixa crew pretty daggum good. But y'all know me, I like all bikes, man. So uh, I'm actually excited to compare what this bike feels like versus what Deadshot felt like. Um, so it's gonna be fun, man. But um, yeah, man, I'll cue you guys in once we get there and get set up. A uh, few people are already in town. Dale is already in town. Uh, Dale, Dale lives here, excuse me. Dale is already at the track. Uh, we have Kudis and some of the fellas. I think it's like six guys from Tennessee coming down. It's like, yo, Mungus, we go come down and hang out with you for your birthday. And they coming out with me to the track, bro. That is, bro, that is dope as heck, bro. Like, ah, my next meet might be at the track, man. I'm, I don't know how I'm gonna work it out, but I'm trying to work it out. I got my man Chains coming in town too. Bro, this is about to be, this is about to be fun. But I'm gonna quit babbling. So let's get to it. Heck yeah. It's about to be me. Guys, I'm so Heck yeah. Let's do this. Road Atlanta, baby. We back. Happy birthday, Mungus. Happy birthday, Playboy. <laughs> oh, yeah, this is about to be dope. Yes, sir. <laughs> I think I see the visual light on. Ah, this is about to be good. Oh, we're back. We're back. Uh, yeah, let me get set up and situated, and I'll check back in with y'all. Thank you for watching, dudes. No monkey. No monkey. Thank you for watching, dudes. No monkey.